Hello students, here we are going to learn about WDM Network Architecture. So let us start with the architecture. So first of all, the WNet architecture supports varieties of topologies, including the ring mesh. Also, bus is there in the sum of the case. Star is also available. So OLT, optical line terminal, multiplex multiple wavelength into a single fiber, and also demultiplex a composite WDM signal wavelength division multiplex signal into individual wavelength. So OLT are used at either end of point to point link. So generally OMDM means optical head drop multiplexer are used at location where some of fractions of the wavelength need to be terminated locally and the other need to be routed to the particular destinations or particular the receivers. So in this case, in case of basic architecture is there. So in the basic architecture, consider here uh, one central office is there. So I'm just considering one block diagram of the central office. So block diagram of central office. So one single uh, uh, feeder fiber is there to connection with the uh, one to n passive one to n network. So I'm just considering as a passive one to n network. Yeah. So passive one to n network. So it's one kind of uh, splitter network is also there. So I'm providing the four connection over here uh, to provide data or provide traffic to the particular single distributions fiber to each and every. So consider first is a home, second is a uh, office, uh, third one is a companies, and fourth one is a uh, shop. So we'll provide the four kind of services using them, and then also provide uh, two kind of uh, features uh, or many kind of feature is there. So first of all, consider as a one three one zero. Uh, nanometer voice and data and normally the second is most important is a 1310 and the 155 1550 nanometer voice and data so this is one kind of basic uh, wdn architecture is there so okay yeah. so next this is a uh, most important diagram this from optical network books olt uh, wdm network architecture so in this case you can know about the very well about the olt uh, or xe and the omdm the full form for this is on a terminal ip route so this dotted line is provided the light path so here is the light path provided with the different kind of uh, network or different optical connects uh, one connects and second and then third and they provide a feature to the output side so basically this kind of complex network is there so you can just understand the different components how to be connected and uh, your path will be followed by the sum of the units and this path is known as by the light path provided the particular end-to-end -end user connections so in this case of wdm network architecture so they are typically deployed in a linear or ring topologies kind of structures so normally optical connects, uh, cross connects perform a larger scale in terms of the multiple ports and the wavelength. Also include that the, they are deployed in mass topologies or in order to inconcurrent the multiple ring network also. The user or the client are connected in the OLT, OLX, ODMs, uh, so means uh, optical line terminate, uh, optical adro multiplexer and the optical cross connects so the network support a variety of client types or variety of client types looks like that the ip routers uh, ethernet connection base or ethernet switches or in the sonnet network sonnet uh, terminal the connected uh, the, the sonnet devices or sonnet network architecture and the adm head drop uh, multiplexers so each link can support a certain number of wavelength means the number of wavelength that can be supported according to the component and the transmission impose and the limitations base so the feature and of wdm architecture so the in the in this case we have to consider that the in the case of general architecture so the different wdm networks elements like olt and omdm and oxc means cross connects so in this case, uh, all these are connected to link and they are joining the different components together. 
So basis one then some features are required for the architecture. So let us start uh, some of the feature of that network. So before starting with the future, uh, uh, first of all, we have uh, just generalized discuss about then the how all these devices are uh, connected between the two different re two different regions. So that's why is the some features are required. And so based on the some features, uh, the architecture is behave like uh, in the case of the optical network using WD. So first is a wavelength reuse. So in the case of wavelength reuse, so meaning of the reuse is uh, you have to utilize some kind of thing after some time of period or after some distance. Uh, so in this case of multiple light path in the network, we can use the same wavelength. So uh, consider as a one kind of uh, lambda. So one or two uses over here. So we have to use again this lambda one and lambda two somewhere else. So as long as they do not overlap or any link, and then spatial reuse capability allows uh, the network to support a large number of light path using a limited number of wavelength. So that basis on the wavelength reuse. Second point is wavelength conversion. So in this case, the light path may undergo the wavelength conversion along the different route. So the, in this conversion, it, also improve the utilization of the wavelength inside the WDM network and also this conversion is uh, needed to at the boundary of the network uh, to adopt the signals from the different network or outside the network into a suitable wavelength for the inside of the network so that's why the wavelength conversion is necessary in the WDM network third one is a uh, transparency so transparency defined that the light path can carry data at the variety of bit rates uh, or variety of bit rates protocol so for then it can affect uh, so it may be protocol insensitive so transparency protocol there in the wdm network circuit switching normally switching is a transfer from one device to another device so based on the fixed path is known as a circuit switching so normally in the case of wdm network the large path provided by the optical layer and can be set up and taken down according to the demand of this uh, network so according to the analogs uh, analogs network uh, so all the circuits are uh, defined by the circuits with network and except that the rate at which the setup and the takedown actions occur it likely to be much slower than so that the rate of telephone network with the voice circuit so basins on this all this kind of circuit uh, when switching network is defined so based on the switching network or circuit switching next survivability so the network can be configured in manner or in such manner that the uh, in case of some event is a failure some light path rerouted by some kind of failure network or finding some or alternate path available and all these features are automatically implemented and within some kind of time period so also this provide a high degree of resilience uh, on the network so it will provide the survivability of the particular wdm network and the last one is light path topology so you can know about the very well about the topology and the fiber network so in the light path topology uh, is a graph that consists of the different network node or different terminal or different node within the edge of the two node if there is a light path between them or not and the light path topology uh, therefore does uh, refer to the layer particular layer uh, seen by that the higher layers of the optical layer so to end the ip network residing above the optical layer the light path looks like between the ip route so they already provide a route uh, like that the uh, number suppose a to b different network so all this kind of uh, route will be there so according to the basis on the scenario light path topology will be different 